Hey, welcome back everyone. It's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. So, I decided to do something different today. Usually it's a television unboxing or a home theater receiver, sound bar, or some other electronic device. But this right here, it's something that I really wanted to do and I've been looking for this one for a long time. These are really hard to find in stock. I was able to get one and it was only one left in stock in uh, in Best Buy. However, I got lucky and uh, it was on sale. I was able to get it for uh, 900. Normally the price goes up to uh, 1200, but I was able to get it for 900. This is a home cinema 2150. There is 2100, but this is 2150. And the reason you want to go with 2150, it's for two obvious reasons. Number one, 2500 uh, luminous light brightness, peak brightness. So that's uh, actually 2500. So that's 2500 nits of peak brightness you'll be getting on your uh, silver screen, on your white uh, projector screen or what have you. And that's pretty cool. Second thing that it has right here, as you can see, it has full HD 1080p. However, you cannot watch a native 4K resolution, but what it's going to do, it's going to downscale that 4K Blu-ray player resolution onto the uh, 1080p, but it's still going to look great because of the high bitrate detail that's encoded on 4K OPPO uh, player and 4K Blu-ray disc. And it also has a 3D. This is a second feature that I really, really like, 3D. Uh, there's no better way to watch 3D than on a projector. So having a 3D and 1080p and having the uh, 2500 uh, luminous light peak brightness is truly amazing. This thing has uh, different types of ratios depending on your screen projector, but you can go up to 300 inch. And I think that's the maximum uh, diagonal 300 inch. And quite honestly, I don't, I don't think anyone will be going any more than that, especially at your home, uh, depending how big your garage is and how big your home is. But 300 inch is definitely, uh, it's a perfect size. I'm going to go with 120 because that's all I can do in my room, you know, or my living room. That's all I can do. I might even tone it down to 110. To be reasonable, 110 inches, that's, that's pretty reasonable to me, okay? And uh, so anyway, let's go ahead, let's unbox this, let me show you what comes inside and then we're going to set this thing up and I'm going to show you the setup process and the whole deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do it. Okay, so when you tear open the box right here, this top on the uh, taped incision and then on the right and the left, when you open it, you get treated with... Uh, a and B right here and some barcodes it doesn't really matter these barcodes don't mean anything it's just for the shipping and whatever and when you open the box this is what you get you know you get uh, treated with uh, quick setup guide connect to the projector so this is really important for those of you who don't know how to do it uh, you should read this you should definitely uh, go through this and read about it and you know, step by step, learn how to uh, use it, how to connect it properly and all that. This, I don't need to read this because I'm pretty much am familiar with a lot of this stuff. I did my research before I purchased this thing. I've been kind of eyeballing the uh, 2150 uh, Epson projector for a long time. By the way, this is Epson. And I think I forgot to say the, the full name. It's uh, Home Cinema Epson 2150. The difference between 2100 2150 obviously it's 2150 has a 3d capability and it has a higher peak luminous outputting light uh on the uh the screen projector all right so that's that and once you take off the uh the guide this is what you get you get the uh epson also i do want to say if you do get this from the best buy there is a uh, restocking fee they're going to charge you if you do return this thing. So uh, 
don't return it, sell it. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to return this because I definitely want this. I need this. I want to have uh, my gaming and my movies and my TV. I want to be on a, on a you know, 120 inch. I'm planning on buying the uh, screen projector, 120 uh, inch screen projector pretty soon. So I'll have that set up. Okay. Anyway, let's take this out of the box. All right, before I take it out, you are treated with a remote control. There's a remote control. All your controls are here, 2D, 3D. Uh, it's pretty basic, but pretty uh, cool Epson remote control. There are batteries included right over here, which I will pull out in a minute. Uh, you also get treated, obviously, with the uh, power cord. There's no power adapter. It's built inside and has a fan that, that keeps it cool. All right, so let me pull this out and let me also get the batteries out and let me show you how it looks once it's unwrapped. Okay, so once you unbox it, this is pretty much what you get treated with right over here. It has a nice glossy finish. There are the fans right here that blow out the hot air, which is right over here. Okay. Here you get to adjust uh, your screen, your lenses, zoom in, zoom out okay and this is the distance I believe the distance between where you are sitting and the, the distance between the projector and how many feet let me show it to you from this angle this is pretty hefty it's pretty big uh, this is not a small projector by any stretch of imagination here you have the adjustable feet where you can adjust how much you would want your Epson a 2150 home cinema to be aligned up and down to a certain degree and this these are the heat sinks right here so this is where the hot air gets blown out and this is the heat sink right here this is where the hot air stored and it gets blown up over here and the fan is behind I'm gonna show it to you in a minute actually the fan is not behind the fan is up front that blows that air this is the speaker these are the 10 watts speakers uh, they sound pretty good they sound as good as Alexa you know the uh, Amazon Echo but uh, you don't have to use them if you don't have then I guess you can use them but you do have the option of audio out you can connect your uh, sound bar or you can connect your home theater through HDCP you know Receiver if you have Onkyo TXNR 77 or 676 or 575 you can connect this via HDCP Through your receiver and then get your surround sound Okay You have a uh, USB Let me uh, adjust my camera here You have a USB uh, 2.0 I think it's a standard uh, USB port right here You can connect a hard drive if you have some movies or some content you can connect a hard drive that's up to you know whatever five terabytes and you can watch a bunch of movies from there you also have a uh, VGA PC this is for people who you know want to uh, you know want to show something on the business if they they can take this to a business trip and use this for uh, some kind of portfolio and show off what they're showing to the public but this is what I'm really interested in, HDMI 1, a MHL, and HDMI 2. Uh, HDMI MHL, from what I understand, uh, it's the best one to go with. Uh, I don't have time right now to kind of explain to you in detail what it means, but I will do that on a previous, on the, my next video, I will explain. But the, uh, from what I understand, MHL, HDMI 1 is the best one to go with. Uh, HDMI 2 is just your standard. All right, meaning that the uh, MHL will depict the colors and everything properly from your uh, OPPO. I would suggest connect your OPPO to the HDMI MHL uh, one. But you do have two HDMIs, and if you if you add OPPO, you can you can have four HDMIs. You already have pass through HDMI on OPPO. They can go that can be connected through your OPPO and then into your uh, projector. And then you got a, a third one over here. And then if you connect the Xbox, you can have four HDMIs. Because Xbox One X has an extra HDMI you can connect through uh, your Xbox One X. So technically, you could have four HDMIs running through this thing. 
So there's plenty of connection here for you to uh, use. And on the top here, it's just letting you know uh, what it is. It's a 3D right here, full HD, 1080p, HDMI. Uh, it has a VLAN, it has a Wi-Fi built into it, which is kind of cool. So you can, uh, you know, pair your tablet or your Android or your Windows with this device. This is good for the business purposes. If you're uh, presenting a portfolio projects, stuff like that. And there it is, Home Cinema 2150. These are the menus. In case you lose the remote control, you can go ahead and use this right here. All right, so now that I showed you how this thing looks, we're going to go ahead, we're going to plug it in, and we're going to test this. I hate to use the word bad boy. We're going to test this Cloverfield Godzilla. <laughs> how about that? Cloverfield Godzilla from Epson. And it really looks beautiful. It looks really nice. Uh, I really like it. it has a really good uh, look to it. It looks very uh, glossy. So this is a fingerprint magnet. You will have to you have a duster to clean this to clean this off. So keep that in mind, okay? When you uh, purchase this thing, you will have to uh, dust this thing off constantly. All right. So. Uh, Without any further ado, it's been almost 12 minutes. Let's go through a setup process and let's go plug it in. I'll have to dim down all my lights and everything to check it out. We'll check it out both in the dark and in a lit up environment, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that next. All right, now the first thing that happens when you uh, turn the Epson, you will notice just that loud fan that's running. There's a fan right here, you can hear it. And uh, this is with every projector, you know, there's no way to kind of like uh, bypass this. This is pretty much with every projector. But now let's go ahead and uh, let's look at the screen. Let's see how the screen looks. I'm going to test a couple of things here. I'm going to test to see how well it looks with a lit up bright room and then how it looks with the lights off. Let's do this. So here as you can see it looks very bright. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even using a screen, projector screen, which I'm going to obviously buy pretty soon. But it looks pretty, uh, pretty bright. Here you see my lights are on, everything is on right here. I even have my other light over here, so all the lights are on. It looks pretty bright though. Now when you turn the lights off, it's going to be even brighter. But let's go through a setup process here first. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a color mode to see what type of different color mode it has. It has a bright cinema right over here. Uh, that's the one I'm going to go with. I'll go with the bright cinema. So we'll click that. Uh, let's see what else it has. Bright, bright cinema, brightness, contrast. The signal, the settings. Extend it. You have the network that you can go through. But first thing first, let's look at the image. Okay, so here I am with The Witcher 3. I have connected my uh, Xbox One X, and this really looks great. Uh, the brightness, it's really good. I would say this is up to, uh, actually this is 110. I put it to 110 inches. I can go to 120, but that would be an overkill, honestly, for this room. Uh, 110 inches here, it's more than enough for me personally. Uh, it looks pretty good. It is really bright. Like here, let me show you. This is me right here. Uh, this thing looks very bright, very vivid. I love the way uh, it looks. Maybe I can do. Uh, maybe I can do a gameplay over here. Let me put on my tripod. Let me show you. There is no input lag. It really runs smooth, and uh, I'm really surprised just how bright this thing is, and the way color pops. 
the colors really pop here excellent this is 1080p but it looks really good honestly and uh, very impressed with this Epson Cinema 2150 projector it really does a great job uh, this is 110 inches I can go to 120 but it would be an overkill to have it to 120 you know what I mean it would just defeat the purpose so this is great and here I am not even using a screen projector which I already will buy the screen projector I will buy 120 inch screen projector but this is really good uh, very impressed the way it looks let me show you some of the features while we're doing this and even when you turn the lights on it's still good but obviously you want to watch this with your lights off but you can turn the lights on if you want to all right and even with the lights on you can still see it you can still play it obviously in my lamp it's too close to the screen so that's kind of like you know out of place but if you have a lit up room you can still watch this but I don't recommend that you watch this with a lit up room you want to watch this with the lights off now since I only have a few more minutes left let me go ahead and try some other features here as well uh, let me show you some other features let's go to a menu You have image enhancements if you want to use image enhancements. I'm using a bright cinema for right now, although there are other features available. You have, uh, you can choose like how much you want the sharpness to be, how much you want the color temperature to be. Uh, so you have all of these enhancements and settings that you can choose. You can adjust the color saturation if you want you can go to advance there's many different types of advanced RGB CMI's you can choose if you want to use super white you can use that uh, you can go back over here return you can go to the aspect ratio you can choose normal or you can choose full so you have many different types here that you can go by and, and choose. You have a 3D setup, you can choose your uh, 3D setup, image processing, fine, age my video range, keep it on automatic. Uh, there is expanded, but you wanna go on, just leave it on automatic, honestly. I always tell people, leave this on automatic. Don't mess with this, okay? I'll go through all of these features in coming days. I'll do some more tests. This is just me unboxing it and testing it, okay? But I will go through these features uh, throughout coming days and, and you will see it in the videos. Here I got the NBA 2K18 on the Xbox One X here. Uh, it really looks great. I'm really impressed just how bright this projector is. And the color, look at the color, man. The way color pop on this projector is pretty damn good, man. Pretty outstanding. And there's a the music here as well. You can hear it. Uh, it does have a built-in speakers, which are fine. All right. So uh, let me turn down the volume because I don't want to get flagged. Let's go ahead and let's uh, turn the volume down. Ten outings, making their mark and playing well. Guys, we know about the accolades Steph Curry has received as a player, the MVPs. Just look how beautifully everything pops, man. Look at the uh, the colors. I'm sorry, I'm excited, but I'm really impressed by this uh, Epson 2150, man. Look at the colors. 
Look at the details in the deep dark levels, man. This is amazing. And Ernie added a new shimmy to his game after he hits big shots. A little shimmy, Ernie. You know what you now. I like the shimmy, Jack, but I think he came in as a shooter, Ernie, and then all of a sudden now he's become more of an all of. Very impressed, guys, with the the brightness of this projector. Very impressed, guys. Very it's impressed. An opportunity for them to play in a heated matchup like this to play your best basketball. These are the games, guys, that show how well you match up against the other great teams in the league. And right now for the Cavaliers, lately they've been off their game just a little bit. It's led to them losing that top spot here in the stand. And they better recover before it's too late. They've come too far this season to slip up when they should be. Well, anyway, there you have it, guys. Uh, this is just the unboxing and the uh, setup process testing. Uh, very impressed. My first thoughts are I'm very impressed by the color that's reproduced. And I'm very impressed by the peak brightness that's popping out of the uh, this projector. And I'm not even using a screen projector uh, matte finish, okay? And I'm just simply putting this on the wall and it looks this great. So uh, my first impressions are, this is 110 inch, actually 115. I can go up to 300, but I choose to go 115 inches here and looks pretty darn good. So my first impressions are pretty darn good. There will be more tests on this uh, Epson Home Cinema 2150. Do remember, this thing supports 3D as well. Alright guys, well thank you for watching, I'll catch you on my next video, take care.